Uh, how do you make an in? Okay, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this burst. Uh, I always use in my most of the time using my videos, but this one, this one right here, this one. Ah, uh, so it's really simple, and all you need is fractal noise. I'm gonna teach you how to make this. So you go. So when you so you start with the with the new composition. And you want to make a new solid. So we call this uh, burst. Okay. What we're gonna add to it is something called fractal noise. If you guys had, I prefer you just watch Vapor GTS's video first for watching this one. He explains it like more thoroughly, but he doesn't make this exact burst. He doesn't make the detailed burst. Like the concept is basically the same. But like, um, his, his verse is like, uh, lined out. If you want that one, you guys can go into the description and check him out. I'm gonna teach you how to make the detailed one. The concept is basically the same. Same, sa same stuff, just like, some settings a bit, uh, are a bit different. Which alters the verse and make it look more detailed. So this is the verse I will be making today for you guys. Uh, as you guys can see, it doesn't look that bad. Here it is, in full quality. Uh, I only have 4 gigabytes of RAM, so that's why it might be bad, but here it is, the burst I'm talking about. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. It's not a PNG or anything like that, it moves, it's made in fractional noise. So, I will be linking a project file in the description below, so that all of you guys can actually like use this burst, and if you guys really like want to learn how to, uh, like really want to learn, I'll, I'll release the project file at uh, 25 likes if you want the burst, or you can just watch this tutorial. So here you go, guys. Pretty much, I, I would never make this tutorial. I'm only doing it for views. Okay, so uh, what I did was basically I'm gonna put this on quarter because I don't want my thing to crash. So what I did was basically uh, you guys can see right here. Uh, so, uh, there's like this stuff, see, so first of all, I changed the contrast to 184, and I changed the brightness to negative 16.1, 16.1, and you can end up with something like this, okay guys, so, then I changed the scale width and height, so the scale width is 38.6, so you so to change the height you need to turn off uniform scaling you change this to 38.6 and you change this to 86.2 these these might be different in um vapor gtx's uh uh tutorial so this is what it looks like for me so, so you guys can copy this down be waiting so you end up with something like this so now we're gonna kind of like animate it okay so to animate it what we do is we go about like a second right here and this is where we're gonna add, uh, add our animating keyframe so so if you just all you need to do is double click on this fractal noise over here and you should come up this should come up so first thing you want to change is going to transform and then click on the offset turbulence. So move. So this is where. So you want to drag this point. So go on the first keyframe key and drag this point right around over here on the top corner. Then you go right around here and drag this keyframe right here in the middle. So this is like the middle right here, but like the middle, and then just divide it into half again so that you get it to the middle to. The middle, middle again. Now you should end up with something like this. Um, don't worry if it kind of looks sloppy. That is perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know. Just delete this keyframe. Uh, what, whatever happened there. Don't worry, that shouldn't happen to you. You just go with this. Uh, I would prefer you actually like, try to make it somewhat straight. I don't want it to like go wiggling off. So. Try to like make it in mind so this goes right here. See, not bad. So you end up with something like this. 
So the next thing you guys want to change is something uh, is the evolution. Uh, you if you know how to use turbulent displace, uh, this is what you use to like change the change it up a bit so that it starts to move a bit. If you guys know how to use turbulent displace, so you just move the evolution and it looks something like this. Hey, not bad, right? So the next thing we're going to do is use the same thing Vapor GTX did in his tutorial. Use disc, uh, use a make a mask. So I'm going to duplicate this layer for uh, help. And the first mask we're going to make, so I'm going to hide this layer, okay? First mask I am going to make is on top where you can't see a thing. This is the first mask I'm going to make. So you take the mask, keyframe it, and then copy this keyframe. Control C con or Command C, whatever you're on. Mac or Windows, depends. So, and then you paste it in. So you just click on Control V or con like just click on the layer, the bottom layer, and click on Control um, V. So what you want to do is you want to go into Masks, Mask Path and just keyframe it so it's already keyframed for you because we just copied and pasted it so put, take the keyframe and move it over here then what you want to do is like go right about you see so if you like zoom in you should get like a 0 a 10f and a 20f and then like a 1 uh, one, uh, one minute uh, f so you just put it in the middle like about right in the middle of these two points like right there and then you create, uh, you delete this mask, and then you delete this mask up on top, and then what you want to do is make a mask so you can see the whole thing, so the whole burst. You click on that mask, mask path it, and copy the keyframe, make a keyframe right here, and then paste it in. So now you end up with something like this. So you can't see it right now, but like, just don't worry. So now you just go to the one. Delete the mask and make sure you can't see anything. This is what you want to wait. So you make another mask on top and make sure you can't see anything and you end up with something like this. Click on mask path, copy the keyframe, create a keyframe right here and paste it in. Now, now just delete the top layer since we have made all for three things and it should look something like this. Something somewhat like this, similar to this. So now you end up with something like this. Hey, not bad, right? Still looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, it pretty much looks like what we want it to look like. So it looks something like this. Now the next thing you want to do is add something called pole, polar coordinates. Uh, by the way, I'm not using any plugins. So you just make a, a hunt 100. So now it looks something like this. It increases in size and turns bigger. Okay, not bad, but and it's transparent as well. Perfect, right? But look, it's just like a straight circle. Like if you guys look at this uh, this verse right here, if you guys can see, it looks kind of like. You, uh, let me show you. As it comes in, it's as it goes out, it's like kind of like smooth. So I don't want it to be like straight, that would look bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the burst, the mask, and then we're just going to increase the mask feather. And let's make the mask feather 200. Okay, as you guys can see, it looks much better now. So if you guys look at it, it looks something like this. Look, if you guys can see, here you go. So now what, you, what you're going to do is uh, add transform. To this and just drag it right here double click on transform and click on oh uh, you don't need to do anything don't need keyframe it just change the scale make it like about this like a 281 would be perfect and now you end up with something like this this is basically the burst we were all working for um and if we look at it in full quality it looks like this hey we just made a burst. Now to fill in the color, you click on adjust, you make a new adjustment layer, search up fill, and 
add the fill in. So you should just select your color. I'm gonna select like a uh, light blue. Click on this and add a hue. Not a hue, I mean add add color. Sorry. What that will do, that will add a color to it, as you guys can see. And you end up with something like this. This is a burst we were all working for. So yeah guys, that's how you make the burst. To actually make the burst much more like better, uh, you guys might need, you can get a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. They'll kind of like modify the burst a bit. But in my template, I won't get use this plugin, so don't worry guys. But I'm just telling you that you guys can uh, modify the burst a bit. You can add like some exposure. Uh, mess around with it. Don't worry guys, you guys can uh, mess around with it a bit. Uh with magic bullet looks and it should make it look like much better to me as you guys can see it looks much better now but of course you don't really need magic bullet looks to make the burst it just make it just modifies it a bit which makes it look much better and cleaner uh but like here you go guys this is basically the burst you all wanted to make so yeah guys that's how you make the burst uh make sure you hit uh if this video hits 25 or 27 likes I will give away the project files in the description below. And yeah guys, that's how you make this uh, epic burst. And bye.